there is a government shutdown. We're in day four, day five at this point, and uh, no signs of letting up. But fear not, because an Obama administration official was quoted anonymously, of course, in the Wall Street Journal, and said, we are winning. It doesn't really matter to us how long the shutdown lasts, because what matters is the end result. Because yeah, this is all about winning, not what's good for the country, it's what's good for party, of course. Uh, John Boehner, not happy that uh, the Democrats might be winning, and he had this to say. Uh, this morning, I get the Wall Street Journal out, and it says, well, we don't care how long this lasts, uh, because we're winning. Now, this isn't some damn game. The American people don't want their government shut down, and neither do I. John Bader actually turned a little extra orange there. Did you notice a little <laughs> extra orange as he had that righteous indignation, right? Yeah, and we're headed towards Halloween, so it makes sense. It, you it know, <laughs> it's, orange is in, et cetera. And uh, here's one thing I know, Dave. Yeah. There's no way the Republicans would have said similar things. I mean, no, no, no. And there's no way they would have felt similar ways. That, that, it, that it, maybe that it's a game for politicians where we all suffer and they don't. Because I'm sure Michelle Bachman didn't say anything like that, right? Jenk, you're not going to believe this, but we have some video that may go to your point. Wow. I'm worried that some of your colleagues uh, are buckling. They, they just want to capitulate bend down at the altar of Reed and Obama. I'm a little concerned about it. How concerned are you? Well, we have held together for a long time in this process. I think we will continue to hold on. Ultimately, the Republicans are the conservatives that are going to work together to make sure that we can push back Obamacare. We're really very energized today. We were very strong. This is about the happiest I've seen members in a long time because we see that we're starting to win this dialogue on a national level. All right, there you go. So <laughs> let's just for the purpose. Okay, so we've got one win on the Boehner side and the Bachman side, and we've got a win on the Harry Reid anonymous Democratic uh, administration official side. Uh, but it's not over yet. Did you you know about this Republican in Indiana? You know what he did? This guy. This is this is the winner, Marlon Stutzman from uh, Indiana. He's a Republican. I love this one. He said uh, he told the Washington Examiner that House Republicans quote have to get something out of this. And I don't even know what it is. Does that just, that pretty <laughs> much just sums up the whole thing at this point, but right? Wait, wait, oh. if you weren't sure oh. yet that the Republicans thought this was a game and that they need to win it, let's go to Rand Paul on an open mic. I'm all wired up here. Um, I just did CNN, I just go over and over again, we're willing to compromise, we're willing to negotiate. I, think, I don't think they poll tested, we won't negotiate. I think it's awful for them to say that over and over again. Yeah, I do too, and I, and I just came back from the two hour meeting with yeah. them, and that was, that was basically the same view privately as it was publicly. I think if we keep saying we wanted to defund it, we fought for that, mm -hmm. but now we're willing to compromise mm -hmm. on this, I think they can't, and we're gonna, we, I think, well, I know we don't want to be here, but we're going to win this, I think. We're going to win this, Adam! This is not a damn game! <laughs> this is what it looks like when Republicans freak out when Democrats actually are winning. Mm -hmm. Progressives have a lot, of, a lot to be positive about here, and, and there's ample precedent for this. Um, when, when, during the Wall Street reform fight, the White House said, we will not back down until we break up the big banks. And when during the, the health care fight, they said, we will not back down until we pass the public option. Those were epic moments where Democrats won. No. No, this is the first time this has happened. This is unprecedented. <laughs> and it actually makes you feel right. a sense of regret looking backwards that this, is, this had been possible the entire time and we didn't do it. So that goes to the really important substance here because, yes, of course the politicians think it's about winning politically. And, but there is good reason to believe that even if you care about policy. Because if you win politically, and in this case the Republicans back down and you have a clean resolution and the government continues and Obamacare is implemented, well, you've also won on policy. So winning does matter I in politics to some degree. So both sides with their fake outrage is nonsense. We know what the game is about. Right. But at the same time, it, it's, it's good for progressives if from time to time we actually win politically, right? So, and, and to Adam's point, the only times we do that is not when we're nice to the Republicans, not when President Obama plays golf with them and beseeches them and brings them over to dinner. It's when he actually takes out the whooping stick. Exactly. And he says, I, look, I'm, you wanna do a shutdown, have at it, Hoss, right? And I'm gonna keep pounding you 
And then not only do you get a political win, but more, much more importantly, you get the policy win that you need. Yeah, and, and isn't the, the key line in there is when Rand Paul says to McConnell, this isn't poll tested? Because doesn't that really say, like, our strategy really is changing by the minute because we got focus groups and we got polls and we're going to just see what they want us to do. So maybe we should just keep pushing this. Yeah, what's interesting about the poll testing thing is Republicans usually don't guide their policies by the polls, right? Most of their policies are completely are, are unpopular. <laughs> so when they say poll testing, they mean how can we take a really bad policy and message it to make it sound plausible? Uh, so it's good that, that uh, we're beating them, even though that's their instinct. Yeah. So I think both of those points are really interesting because, you know, I think that some Americans, look, look, all Americans get the politicians are skeevy. Right, yeah. and generally, I mean, believe me, they that memo has been that delivered th to okay, the American we got people, that. right? Yeah. Like not to the American media who treats them with such great honor and all this and respect and stuff, right? But I, I don't know that the that the public knows the minutia of how much they do poll testing in the middle of debates, which is what Dave was pointing at. Right. So they'll go out there and they're like, "How is this messaging?" Which goes to Adam's point. So it's not that they think, "Okay, I want to find out which side the American people are on," right? They think, how can I frame my argument for lower taxes for the rich or mm -hmm. more wars in a way that seems like the opposite, so I'll win. So they'll, that's why they'll do things like peace through strength. Because they, they don't want to say I'm for war, they want to say I'm for peace, but I'm through strength, and strength is what war, right? So that's why you see all these Orwellian terms that are being thrown around so they can win the political game. And, and the Republican objective is usually you know, taking away health care, <laughs> right? uh, tax cuts for the rich, et cetera. And in this case, I love the foreign press because they were like, wait, let me understand this. You guys are shutting down the government to make sure that people don't, don't. get health care. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, yeah. They're like, that's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah.